the AGV K3 is the updated version of the AGV K3 SV. And today we're going to see if AGV has actually managed to develop a better helmet. Our test rider came back with a lot of interesting data, so stay tuned. Hi everyone, Team Voice Champion Helmets here and welcome to our channel. Here in front of me I have the AGV K3. This full face helmet was developed by the Italian brand AGV and the successor to the K3 SV. This helmet is a nice looking sport touring helmet, designed for comfort. And the first big difference we can mention is that the AGV K3 has a new 2206 certification which has become mandatory for manufacturers when developing and producing new helmets. In addition, you can immediately see that the ventilation of the helmet has been changed, which we will discuss in more detail later. During our test, we will find out if claims made by AGV about this helmet are true. We put a lot of time and effort into these reviews, with just one goal. To make sure you get an honest review based on facts instead of marketing language and personal opinions. So if you appreciate this effort, hit that subscribe button and like the video, so that we can continue to do these tests and you continue to receive honest in-depth reviews. Before we dive deeper into the helmet, here are some general points. The K3 has a more oval fit and a micrometric closure. The helmet will start at a retail price of around 240 euros and will therefore compete with the Nolan N66, AGC i70, Scorpion 520, Scorpion XO 1400 EVO and other entry level helmets. Ok, we're going to start the review now and we will do so with the material part. The K3 is made of polycarbonate. Polycarbonate helmets offer the same protection but are often compared to fiberglass helmets for example, on the heavier side. In addition, the K3 comes in 6 sizes and 3 shell sizes, which is an upgrade over the K3 SV, as that one came only in 2 shell sizes. The more Audi shell sizes a helmet has, the better. A helmet with more Audi shell sizes not only looks better and more compact, but is also safer. So great improvement there by AGV. If we're going to compare this to the other helmets, we see that it does great and almost stops the list. The K3 is on par with the XO5120, Qualifier, Spartan RS and the XO491. So great start for the K3. We continue with the weight of the helmet. A lighter helmet is important because a lighter helmet increases riding pleasure and prevents fatigue. And when we weigh the K3 in a size M, the scale indicated 1602 gram, which is a little bit on the heavy side. Because if we weigh in the other helmets, we see that almost end at the bottom of the list. Only the XO491 was 1 gram heavier. But we have to keep in mind that 2206 certified helmets are heavier, since more materials used to pass this strict test. But nonetheless, it's on the heaviest side. The lightest helmet was the Scorpion XO1400. Great. Now that we have discussed the weight and material, we move on to K3's visor. The K3 offers a large field of view, is adjustable into multiple positions, and has a quick release, which makes it easy to replace a visor without having to use any tools. This visor is also anti scratch treated and pin lock lens prepared. The pinlock lens that is included in the box is a Max Vision pinlock lens. This ensures that your visor will never condense again while riding. In addition, the K3 has an integrated sun visor that is also anti scratch treated and protects your eyes from the sun while riding. This is controlled by a sliding knob on the side of the helmet. Adding all this together, we see that the helmet earns 4 stars for the visor. And if we compare this to the other helmets, we can see that it's on par with most of the other helmets. There was no real outlier for this part, so another great result by the AGV K3. Before we begin the road test, first a brief explanation of how we collect our data. On the left side you see a white thermometer, connected to a sensor inside the helmet. This thermometer indicates the inner temperature of the helmet. In the top center you see the decibel meter, which is connected to a microphone placed near our rider's ear. This records the sound as our rider hears it. On the right we see a phone that displays wind speed and outside temperature. In the center we see the dashboard showing our rider's speed. Now that that is clear, we're going to start review with the noise. When we tested the helmet with an average wind speed of about 120 and riding speed of 130 km an hour. And when we look at the decibel meter, we see that it had an average reading of 105 decibel. This is the same result as its predecessor and compared to the other helmets it ended at the bottom of the list. There were only were two helmets that were below the mark of 100 decibel and that were the Spartan RS and the i70. The more quiet the helmet is, the better. A more quiet helmet increases your riding experience. So AGV managed to keep the noise level the same as its predecessor, but did it excel on the noise. Alright, we continue with the ventilation of the helmet. And before we look at the results of the road test, first the ventilation options. The AGV K3 compared to the K3 SV now has two ventilation options instead of three. These can be controlled by sliding them back and forward and all the warm air inside the helmet can escape through the adjusted spoiler on the back of the helmet. 
If we look at the results of the road test, we see that it was 2.5 degrees hotter inside the helmet compared to the outside, which earned the helmet 3 stars. The K3 SV had an equal temperature, so with going from 3 to top vent, it downgraded itself. If we weigh in the other helmets, we see that still does a solid job. Most helmets have an equal temperature or a 1 degree difference, but the K3 is on par with the XO491. The qualifier was the biggest surprise with a temperature difference of 8.5 degrees Celsius. So another good result by AGV. We continue with the only subjective part of this review, and that is the comfort. For the comfort part, we lean on the more than 15 years of riding experience of our test rider, who has also tested all the other helmets and thus can make the comparison like no other. Our test rider mentioned that the K3 felt nice for a helmet in this price range. The K3's inner lining is removable, washable and is moisture wicking, keeping your head cool during warmer days. In addition, the liner has no seams, making it even softer to the touch, and the cheek pads are interchangeable between all sizes. If we add everything up, we see that it earned 3 stars for the Comfort, and compared to the other helmets, it almost ends the top of the list. Only the Spartan RS by Shark performed better, and the K3 is on par with the XO 1400 and the Qualifier. We have arrived at the last part before looking at the overall rating and final score. The K3 is 2206 certified, which has become mandatory for all newly developed and designed helmets. The closure of the helmet is a steel micrometric closure, and the helmet is prepared for a universal communication system, thanks to the speaker pockets. The K3 also has a cutout in the inner liner for riders who wear glasses, allowing them to easily put on and take off their glasses. If we add everything up, we see that earned 3 stars. And with this result, it tops the list. So for the features, the K3 really excels and outperformed every other helmet with at least 1 star. So a great job for AGV. And now that we're done the review in the studio and the road test, let's have a look at the final score. Now that we covered every part, we can take a look at the total overview and final verdict. For the material part, the K3 earned 3 stars because it is made out of polycarbonate and comes in 3 out of shell sizes. For weight, it earned 3 stars thanks to a result of 1602 gram. For the visor, it earned 4 stars because it is spin lens prepared, which is included in the box. For noise, it earned 2 stars thanks to an average of 105 decibel and 3 stars for ventilation thanks to a difference of 2.5 degrees Celsius. For comfort, it earned 3 stars. And again, 3 stars for features, because it has a new 2206 certification, has speaker pocket and is glasses friendly. If we add up all the stars, the K3 has an average of 3 stars, for which you pay 11 euros per star. So AGV managed to make another great helmet that has a great price quality. Do you want more information about the AGV K3? Then be sure to take a look in our webshop, championhelmets.com, where we always offer the lowest price guarantee and have great discount bundles. Also, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more reviews, road tests and guides. Thank you for watching, my name is Simon for Champion Helmets and until next time.